All right, so this has been a long time coming. Um, first of all, excuse the audio, because if you can hear in the background, that's my fucking cooler. It's pushing air in and out. It's like ventilating the room. And the reason why it's like that is because, well, it's just super hot. And it's we're going into summer. I live in California. And it's like, my God. You know, my God. It's, it's so fucking hot. That if I don't have some kind of ventilation in here, the computer will overheat. And it's only going to get worse coming into the summer months. And since I don't want to halt production throughout the entire summer waiting for winter to come. Uh, excuse the sound of that fan in the background if you can even hear it. Um, but anyway, this is Fantastic Four number 226. Now, the reason I'm reading this comic book is because, as you all know, we finished Shogun Warriors. Finally, we finally finished Shogun Warriors. And it was... I don't want to say it wasn't bad. It was just kind of a lukewarm ending. Well, I did some research because I just felt like that could not be the end. And I happened to stumble across this. Fantastic Four. The FF Journey to Japan to Face the Samurai Destroyer. Now, you take a look at this fella right here. Take a look at this big fella right here. What does he look like? Yeah, he looks a bit like a Shogun Warrior. Now, the reason is specifically because he is a Shogun Warrior. A little bit about that later. Now, specifically, the reason why Shogun Warriors ended on issue 20 is because the Shogun Warriors, uh, Raideen, Kombatra, and Dangered Ace were featured in that comic book, and those are actually the intellectual property of a Japanese company. They were on loan to the Americans so that they can make the Shogun Warriors comic book. That license expired. They were no longer able to feature those characters. That's why it ended the way that it did, sort of abruptly. However, that's not going to stop Marvel from making its own Shogun Warrior characters. For example, the Samurai Destroyer. Also, if you haven't seen it, I have an episode on Red Ronin over in the Godzilla playlist, who is another Shogun Warrior that Marvel made for themselves for their own, you know, business entity. Um, but the reason why this issue is important is because this is actually the real, true final appearance of the Shogun Warriors. So, yeah, let's get into it. As we can see here, featuring the final fate of three unexpected guest stars. Now, I have no qualms about telling you right now that those actually happen to be the Shogun Warriors. All right. Reed Richards, Ben Grimm, Sue Richards, and Johnny Storm. Together, they braved the unknown terrors of outer space and were changed into something more than human. Mr. Fantastic, The Thing, The Invisible Girl, and The Human Torch. And now, the world will never again be the same. Stanley presents, as he always fucking does, the Fantastic Four in The Samurai Destroyer. The Samurai Destroyer happens to be a Shogun Warrior here. Um, we've got this beautiful image of him just taking a train straight off the tracks. That's beautiful. The Carpathian Mountains in Eastern Europe, rumbling and racketing through dark tunnels and over trestles spanning the vast mountain wilderness, a Czechoslovakian train is abruptly, incredibly grabbed and literally ripped off its tracks. Its cargo, more than $70 million worth of gold bullion. So, whoever is piloting this Shogun Warrior has a taste for the money. He really likes the money. The enormous weight of the train is hefted with appalling ease, shaken like a toy, screaming and writhing. Passengers and crews spill from the car like so many scrabbling ants, plummeting into a freshly fallen carpet of snow. And then, a twin blast of fire. The thief departs with his loot. Looks a hell of a lot like a Shogun Warrior, doesn't it? But where does he come from? Let's find out. Looking for the news, Johnny? I will put it on. Yes, Reed, I want to catch the sports. They should have the results of the Indy 500 time trial. Maybe there will be a new review of that new Broadway show Ben and Alicia went to go see. And then we have uh, this young scamp right here. Now we put over there. Now we put you over there, big guy. And then we're ready to start. Yeah, okay, so... Hmm. I wonder. 
Almost unbelievable report from the Eastern European nation of Czechoslovakia tonight, where eyewitness survivors, uh, most in states of extreme shock, tell of the theft of a train carrying a shipment of gold bullion. Most incredible of all, however, is the fact that my previous statement was grammatically correct. The entire train itself, along with its cargo of gold, was actually plucked from the tracks and carried off into the night. <sighs> By its claimed some manner of gigantic airborne robot, a Shogun warrior. A giant robot, but the only ones who, and remember, in Shogun Warriors 19 and 20, they teamed up with the Fantastic Four to take on the primal ancient evil, which of course they did defeat the guy. So they are familiar with the Shoguns. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Reed? Yes, Johnny, our friends Carson, Savage, and Genji are the only ones on Earth with giant robots capable of performing such a feat. Should we check on it? Two of them, Carson and Genji, are in California, or supposedly in California, meaning, meaning one of them might be in Eastern Europe, Sue, where that train was stolen. Not possible. Now, I'll tell you right now, there is a reason why the Shogun Warriors, not the pilots, the pilots do appear in this issue, but there's a reason why the Shogun Warriors actually do not. Obviously, they lost the rights to that intellectual property, so they cannot feature those three robots even a little bit, not even in flashbacks. They cannot legally appear in this comic. Just something to note. I don't like being suspicious of our former allies, but we'd be derelict in our duty if we did not investigate them. Still, we'd better wait for Ben to come back. Was it beautiful, Ben? The costumes, I mean, and the dancing, the music, and the singing were wonderful, but... Yes, Alicia, babe, it was beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love, I love Ben. I love his Brooklyn, New York accent. Hey, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. But no one near as beautiful as you, and believe me, babe, if there was any way on earth for me to fix it so as you could be see yourself with the first thing I'd show you would be a great big mirror. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, because she's blind. I forgot. That makes sense. Does that mean... So, this is later. 226. Does that mean the little kid was Franklin Richards? I'm not 100% sure. It's got to be Frank. Franklin Richards. Look at him. They're like young lovers. Oh, Ben. You're always so sweet to me, and I appreciate it more than you could know. But you shouldn't even say such foolish things. The first thing I'd want to see would be you, Ben. Only you. Nah, babe, not that. Not my ugly puss. That's... <laughs> that, that, that's, that has a different look right there. <laughs> not my ugly puss. <laughs> that has a different meaning now, Ben. Let's comment. Calm down. Believe me, you deserve better. Ben, how many times must I say it? I fell in love with you, not the way you look. And now that I do love everything about you, and if I could just see you, I, I'd love to cherish the sight too. Ah, sniffle. Better stop right there, kid, before you get me all choked. Bravo, bravo. Now kiss her, you big lug. Can he kiss her? Wouldn't he just like rip her face off? Sheesh! Look at us! We belong in a bland soap opera! Come on, Alicia, babe. I couldn't stand a restaurant crowd at this point. Let's grab something to eat back at the Baxter building. Cripes! <laughs> what a pair we make! What a pair, yeah. That's, that's cute. That's adorable. Well, that's the end of the news, and no further updates on the giant robot. And no review of the show! Ben will tell us how it is, sis. Come on. I'll help you set the table. Okay, werewolf, you gotta play Goliath now, because the cowboys ain't gonna play Davy. Hey, look, it's Werewolf by Midnight. Yeah, a match made in heaven, that's cool. Leaving Reed Richards deep in thought. Yeah, okay, so... Werewolf by Midnight is another one I'm probably gonna end up doing. I want to do, like, a full series review, but I didn't realize for, for Halloween how ridiculously long... The lore is for Tomb of Dracula and Werewolf by by Night. It's it's forget it, dude. It's it's but I'll see what I can do. I have five more months until it's time. First thing is, Davy's gotta stand up to the big guy and be brave and strong and fearless, no matter how big old Goliath is. Then Davy uses his sling, pow, right between the eyes. Of course, 
You gotta pretend without a real sling. Okay, so that's foreshadowing. That's probably how they're gonna take out the Samurai Destroyer. Fling some shit right into his eyes. As is tradition with defeating uh, giants. And then, while old Goliath stunned, Davy's friend uses teamwork to knock him out. Okay, good. And then everybody pounces on him. Bam, bam, bam. Got him. See, Daddy? The big bully loses in the end. It's neat, huh? Oh, yes, Franklin. Very neat. That is Franklin. That's Franklin Richards. If only they knew. If only they knew what he would be doing in the future. Ah, you weren't even listening, Daddy. Of course. Of course, Franklin. Very neat. I wasn't fucking listening. <laughs> fucking bastard. <laughs> I wish Ben would get back. The show let out an hour ago. Even walking, he should be here by now. I hope he and Alicia haven't decided to eat out. Home sweet home, kiddo. Are you hungry? I'm ravenous, Ben. Good. Because <laughs> me, I could eat a... Oh, uh, look. <gasps> there they are! Uh-oh. It looks like we got us a case of the proverbial shadowy figures lurking by the FF's private elevator. If it's another bunch of crummy Yancey streeters, I swear I'll... Stay here, Alicia, baby. While I take care of business. I press the button. Why won't it work? Try forcing the door open. Sometimes they get stuck. Sue, Franklin, into this room, quickly! The alarm reads someone's trying to force their way into the elevator, but who could it be? Yipes! Okay, so he does care about Ben. He does care about Franklin. I don't know, Johnny, but whoever it is, I hope they haven't done anything to Ben. <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs> I got you, turkeys. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was a thing back then. I guess, I don't know. Squares? They're squares? I don't know. You hear that? Someone's out in the corridor coming towards the door. All right, I'm ready to flame on if need be. Yeah, it's fucking Ben, you fucking losers. Well, well, butler service, no less. <laughs> ben, but why did you activate the alarm? Who, oh, me? Nah, did I look that stupid stretch? The blamed alarm was set off by our three guests back there. Oh, look. Oh, look, he's got a... Is that from the fight? Elongo Savage, Richard Carson, and Genji Odashu. We were just going to come see about the giant robot. Yes, Richards. <laughs> we would have been the right ones to contact, all right. We've had intimate dealings with the robot. In fact, it just destroyed our world and systematically shattered all three of our lives. No, is this... The robots are dead. Perhaps you'd better explain from the beginning, Carson. Right, Savage. I was getting to it, which is crazy because I fucking love these characters, man. I do. I fucking think they're fantastic. I fucking wish that I could bring them back and do some more. Maybe I'll contact Marvel and ask them if I could do a Shogun Warriors run. I got some ideas. I got some fucking ideas. It was like this, Genji. My girlfriend Dina and I had just returned from location shooting uh, from film stunts in one night and we were really bushed, ready to sack out when something big blotted out the stars from above. When I saw it, it was headed for the hollowed mountain silo where our two robots were kept. I tried to beat it to the punch, hoping to reach my robot warrior before it could do anything. But it was as if the thing knew precisely where to strike. Right through all those tons of rock. The mountain collapsed, and it would have been crushed to death if not for my stuntman's reflexes. Even so, my arm was broken. And, the, and both robots, as we discovered after the shadowy giant had left, were utterly destroyed beyond any hope of repair. So you see, that's the best. That's all you're going to get of the original Shogun Warriors. They were destroyed. Uh, and will no longer appear in Marvel Comics, except they will appear again in Marvel Comics. But no, I'm not going to cover that because it's just... Yeah, they're just bit pieces after this, to my understanding. Uh, correct me in the comics... Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Like, I know you guys fucking love to do that shit. We called Savage immediately to warn him and to ask for help. And I went out with my friend and associate Judith to get my robotic warrior. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. No, Johnny Storm. It wasn't good. I kept my robot hidden in a subsea grotto on the coast of Madagascar near my marine research center. But as we approached, I could see that something was wrong. The water was turbulent. It was boiling. Boiling. Oh, he burned it alive. Yep. There it is. 
And in the grotto, I discovered that the mysterious giant destroyer had already been there. My robot was unrecognizable. Yeah, it's unrecognizable for a reason. Because you don't have the license to make it recognizable. That's the whole problem here. I mean, Jesus Christ. That's insane. That's fucking nuts. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. The, the, that's why they don't even call them Shogun Warriors. They just keep calling them robots. My robot. My robot warrior. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They're Shoguns. I like this too much. I care too fucking much about this shit. Isn't that weird? Do you care about this as much as I do? Isn't that weird? Are we weird? We decided to fly to New York, meet at Kennedy Airport, and come to the Fantastic Four for help. You aided us in the past, so we thought... Certainly, Genji, but you said the robots are completely destroyed, beyond repair. We realize you can't help us in that respect. Nobody can bring back what's dead. <laughs> Unless you pay the license fee. <laughs> but if our old lives are gone forever, canceled in two swift moves, there's still one last piece of business to settle. Stopping the thing which stopped us. And, <gasps> Franklin, turn that radio... We interrupt with this special news bulletin. Wait, Franklin, don't turn it down yet. Well, what do you want the fucking kid to do? Radar has located a gigantic aerial object in the far east near Mount Fujimoto, thought to be the robot responsible for the train theft and several other recent attacks. Mount Fujimoto, that's near the sanctuary. Do you think? Yes, I do think. I think he's the fourth Shogun fucking warrior. There may be some spare parts remaining at Sanctuary, but an entirely new robot? It's worth a check. Let's go. Yeah, Alicia, you stay here with Franklin. You fucking babysit, you blind, powerless bi- Certainly, Sue. He'll be fine. Ha, huh, left behind again. So long, gang. And so, minutes later, the FF's fabulous pogo plane streaks towards the Far East. Aboard are the four normal crew and three disconsolate passengers. I still can't believe it. I know what you mean, Genji. I feel as if my whole world has ended. We've been through heavy scenes, all right. First, the destruction of the sanctuary. Yes, I remember that. That one got me too. I almost fucking cried. Then, the deaths of our mentors, the followers of light. And now this, the final loss. Our robot warriors are gone as if they never existed. I guess we just have to get used to it. Maybe the followers, time is past. Maybe our careers as agents of the light just weren't meant to be. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's done. The fight is over. In truth, the light had been sacrificed. The light had been sacrificed, but that's fine because the fight is over. Now humanity can continue to excel into greater levels of technology. In essence, the Shogun Warriors saved the world. Heads up, troops. Something blasted big is happening in that city up ahead. Is it him? Is it the sound? Yes, it is! Blasted big is an understatement, Ben. That thing is colossal. It is a robot. It is like our warriors. Yeah, Savage, but not like ours at all. Because this warrior looks mean. Evil. Still, its home base must be Sanctuary. It's not more than 10 miles from here. Oh, so they're in Japan. Look at that fucking thing. Stomping people out. What are you going to do? It's ripping up the city. It's toppling entire buildings. We have got to stop it. Why? Why is it going on a rampage? Explain. I've got an idea, Genji. Can one of you pilot the pogo plane? Ah, I am a test pilot, Mr. Richards. Without boasting, I think it's safe to say I can pilot any plane. Good girl, Genji. Then we'll bail out of here and try and stop the thing. While you continue on to Sanctuary and try to learn whatever you can. Yes, you're handling her like a pro, Genji. Good luck. And to you too, Mr. Richards. And in rapid sequence, the thing, Mr. Fantastic, the invisible girl punch themselves free. While the human torch simply bails out on his own steam. Oh, they're not wearing parachutes! Oh, don't worry about that, Savage. I've got a hunch they'll improvise in high style. Johnny, you make a pass at the robot, and then you create a diversion while you three land safely. Yes, exactly. A human parachute? But how? Mr. Fantastic, you've never seen the news? 
Hold your fire! It is them! The Americans called the Fantastic Four! Yeah, this robot's fast, Reed. You've got your diversion, now I need some help. That laser sword looks like it could cut a swath through Fort Knox. Alright. Don't worry, Johnny. We're here now, and it's time to fight like a team. FF style. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to that foreshadowing where they're gonna fucking David and Goliath the shit. But the huge robot merely glares at Mr. Fantastic, and in this case looks apparently can kill. Meanwhile, some ten miles away, the pogo plane settles down into the ruins of former wonder. Nothing. Not a clue in sight. I hope the FF are faring better than us. I wish I could talk Japanese at least enough to say out of my way, Kappa, cause it's clobberin' time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think the thing, of all of them, I think the thing probably has the, the most chance of defeating the robot. The sheesh, it's not even a dent. Not in any language. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, if we can't find anything on the outside, we'll just have to search inside the ruins. Come on, I see an opening. What happened? It was about to crush us. Then something held its foot back. And our voices. The sound. Hollow echoing. Yeah, that's... Oh, this is in the, the point where she's developed her telekinetic powers. It must be the doing of the one called the Invisible Girl. Yeah, that's her. Here's an opening in the shattered stone, and I bet we're going to find some real mind blowers inside. Here it is. The origin of the Samurai Destroyer. I see the scene behind me, engulfed in fire and destruction. A scene which even the powerful members of the Fantastic Four seem unable to alter. Indeed, the gigantic robot is reacting to their attack. Or as you, or as you or I would react to an annoying insect. Yeah, that's, yeah, we understand. Back at Sanctuary. Oh look, the gold and the train. It's the underground maintenance chamber and it's still almost intact. Over there, some of the computers are still working. The stolen train and its unloaded cargo of gold bullion. I told you we'd get our minds blown. This is the robot's base, all right. Sanctuary has been converted to a haven for evil. The mighty Fantastic Four have fallen in defeat. And even as we watch in helpless awe, the gigantic robot is ripping the main branch of the National Bank right out of its foundations. That's crazy, so he just wants money. And then, I don't... That, why? Who is it? Who's piloting the fucking thing? The military is making a last feeble attempt to stop it, but it is clear that there is nothing anyone can do. The giant has come. The giant has conquered. It got away, streaked off with the whole bank in its hands. Hey, are you too hurt? Adjust my blasted pride torch, and it's been mortally wounded. For once, I'm at a loss for words. Ben just said it all. Yeah, you can't fuck with the Shogun Warriors. They're powerful as fuck. Nothing we can do here. Better leave and tell the FF what we found. Wait, the ceiling. It's shifting. It's about to collapse. No, Genji. It's been lifted off by the robot. And we're trapped. Oh, it speaks! Aha! What have we here? The three agents whose faces I have come to know so well from the followers' hologram tapes. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Samurai Destroyer. And I assume you are the ones who brought the now-defeated Fantastic Four here. Oh, don't be so surprised. I know everything about you. Indeed. When I destroyed your three robots, I fully expected we would eventually meet. You see, now that I have tasted the power, the glory of owning a giant robot myself, I realize that the loss of such power can never be suffered lightly. Who is it? Nor without a desire for vengeance. Yeah, make a break for it, Genji. Not so fast. This pebble or boulder, if you will prefer, will block the exit and make you my prisoners. Quite ironic, is it not? The ruins of your former sanctuary now become my my current prison. And now, since there are many questions only you three can answer for me, I shall emerge from the destroyer's control cockpit so that we can meet face to face. But I warn you, don't try anything stupid. I can control every one of these destroyer's functions with this remote control unit in my hand. Now, what method for recharging the robot's power did you find most efficient? What? He doesn't- Who is that? Who the fuck are you? Stretch, 
We'll need their helicopter to get to Sanctuary in a hurry. You can't fly ahead, Johnny. The robot's too dangerous. We'll attack them as a team. Before we answer your questions, just who are you and how did you do this? Okay, yeah, okay. Monologue for me, baby. Come on. It's a story I've wanted to tell someone for months. My name is unimportant and must be protected anyway. Call me a simple explorer or adventurer, a man who had the greatest good fortune to stumble upon the ruins of this sanctuary. I excavated them by myself for more than two months. At the end of which, I was rewarded by a greater discovery than any archaeologist has ever made. Indeed, scarcely believing my eyes, I crawled into the chamber filled with relics not of the past, but of a far future technology. I studied the computer tapes, learning everything about the giant robot warriors, the followers of light, and their three human agents, namely, you three. And then, in a sealed off chamber which had been cracked open by the destruction of Sanctuary, I found the greatest discovery of all, the skeleton of an unsuspected fourth robot, only partially completed and then abandoned for some unknown reason. So it was a prototype. What he's piloting is a prototype Shogun Warrior. I couldn't resist the temptation, and so I used spare parts intended for the other three robots, applying them to the basic skeleton, thereby cobbling together my own creation, the Samurai Destroyer. My first task was clear. I had to eliminate any possible opposition. I used the inter-robot electronic links to home in on your three robots, and I destroyed them before you even expected the existence of the fourth robot. You see, I firmly believed the only thing that could defeat such a miraculous robot would be another such robot, which I proved by destroying yours, and thereby eliminating your potential threat. But what do you want? Do you want to, to conquer the world? No, nothing so ambitious at the moment. I am merely drunk with power of the thing. The sheer awesome size and strength of it. The glory of doing whatever I please and crushing anyone and anything that tries to stop me. But since the novelty will eventually wear off, I'm certain I've decided to simply have fun while building for the future. As you can see, by all the glittering gold which is now mine, no world conquest is too grandiose and complicated for me. I am mainly interested in the simple things, the thrill of ultimate power, and now, for now, and of course, ample wealth for my eventual retirement. Well, that's... I... I mean, I'm not mad at it. I, everybody's got to retire. We all have rent to pay. There it is. Get ready. Oh, no. Helicopters. Then it seems your friends in Fantastic Four are not completely defeated after all. A situation I must rectify. In the meantime, you will remain here for safekeeping. We'll never move that boulder. And even if there's a crack under the roof slab, we can't reach it. We're stuck for good. Perhaps, Carson, but we've still got to try. Because the FF definitely need you. Yes, we're drawing its fire immediately. Get away from the helicopter before innocents are hurt. Uh, yeah, let's get away from the chopper. And right down that big bozo's throat. Use the Goliath thing. Try, but it's useless, Savage. We will never make it. No, Carson, look. There's a pinpoint of light through the rubble. You're right, Alongo, if we can follow the light and dig our way out. Okay. I know it's time for bed, Auntie Leisha, but you don't still tell me why Daddy won't listen to me when I tell him neat stuff. Oh, I'm sure he does, Franklin. Nope, he doesn't listen. Uh, so... What does that have anything to do with anything? Uh, the thing is awesome. A different kind of blast from every fingertip, my god. And every one of them is potentially lethal. And we cannot give up. It's as if the followers were giving us a sign from beyond. Yes, they followed the light all their lives, and now we've got to follow their example. Now that Franklin's all tucked in, I might as well listen to the TV for a while. Live via satellite relay from Japan. Even the combined powers of the mighty Fantastic Four, the incredible Mr. Fantastic, the resourceful Invisible Girl, the blazing Human Torch, and even the grotesquely superhuman Thing is helpless against the giant robot calling itself the Samurai Destroyer. 
Oh no, Ben and the others, they're in danger. For once I'm glad I can't see. I'm glad I'm blind. I couldn't bear to see Ben get hurt. I'm not sleepy a bit, and Auntie Leisha's got the TV on. I wonder what she's watching. According to the Japanese correspondent, this is the Fantastic Four's second skirmish with the robot. And from the looks of the battle, it could well be the Valiant Group's last stand. Eyes, instantly awake and locked on the screen's livid view of his parents and Uncle Franklin Richard freezes in silent horror. We're getting creamed, Reed. The robot's just too powerful. It's too strong. Even my Nova intensity blasts don't phase it. It makes me feel like David going against a super Goliath. But I've got a broken slingshot. Alright. Well, I thought that's how you were going to beat the fucking thing. Johnny, are you alright? Goliath, it's just what you said, Johnny. Okay, now I remember. David and Goliath. Uh, first, Davy's got to be brave and strong and fearless no matter how big old Goliath is. We've got to use the same tactics. That photo cell in its forehead, it could be part of its guidance system. I've got to use my arm as a sling and try to put it out. Only half heard at the time, little Franklin's playful words are now vividly recalled. Then Davy uses his sling, pow, right between the eyes. It's disoriented, Sue. Protect Johnny with a force field. He's got to weaken its ankle somehow. Maybe. If I force enough flame up into its foot jets, it's worked. Now, Ben, it's up to you. Try to trip it. Maybe if I reach back to my college football days and come up with a little gridiron glory. That's it. Oh, they fucking did that shit. They did it. They jumped him. They fucking... They just jumped him. That's, you know... I, what works, works! Good job. Good job, Fantastic Four. You fucking did that shit. The 1 2 3 combination works to stunning effect, and the Samurai Destroyer crashes down on the rubble of Sanctuary. Well, what do you know? Not one of my Sunday punches even dented the blasted thing. But with a little help from leverage and gravity, brute st strength still crammed through in the end. Now, quickly pounce on it! Hit it with everything we've got while it's down! At that moment, three others triumphantly break into the light. Come on, the robot's helpless for the moment, but we've still got to take out the brain. Let's hope its basic design is the same as ours, equipped with an anti-gravity boarding tube. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they did it. We're being drawn in. Power has made you blind, pal. Blind to the followers of light. You destroyed the gift of the three robots and then perverted the fourth. And to top it all off, you're just a common creep. A third-rate hood who can't see any further than ripping off gold for the, his personal gain. But it's all over now, Jack. Stay back! Stay back or I'll destroy it all! I planted a failsafe explosive with a 60-second delay to destroy everything in case my hideout was ever discovered. There, I did it! I pressed the button. No! Uh, are this, fuck, what the hell is going to happen? Too late! The idiot actually did it! Call the FF, Genji! They've got to get us out of here within 60 seconds! Hurry, Torch! Less than half a minute before the explosion! Mr. Fantastic, you've got to get Savage and the punk who causes this whole mess! Ah, oh, jeez, they're gonna save him? I've got them! Erect a force field, Sue! A huge dome to contain us all and concentrate as you've never done before! If the magnitude of the explosion is consistent with the rest of the robot's technology, you'll have to protect us from a near nuclear blast. It is, but she does. Boom! That's cool. Now even the underground label of Sanctuary has been destroyed, and the Samurai Destroyer blasted beyond recognition, just like our robots. Yeah, something tells me it's all over. But in the Baxter building, the freeze of silent shock snaps. Hooray, Daddy did it! He was listening to me! Hey, you shouldn't have fucking did shit, you little fucker. Franklin, what are you doing up? You were watching the whole time? But it's okay now, Auntie Leisha, because they did it. Daddy was listening and he did it. Just like Davy do to, did to old Goliath. In the epilogue... 
And the big bully loses in the end. Quoth Franklin, Franklin, remind me to buy him an ice cream when we get home. Sometimes, darling, only a child can see the most direct solutions. And so, the last warrior has fallen. But maybe it's better this way. Maybe the warriors just didn't belong in this world. If any of them had ever fallen into the hands of other creeps like that guy, yes! Perhaps you're right, Mr. Carson. But what will you guys do now? The only thing we can do. Return to our normal lives. Savage has still got his marine lab. Indeed, Judith. And I have been planning a research expedition to the Gal Galapagos. I'll have plenty to keep me busy. <laughs> and I'll go back to stunting for the movies with Dina. It's a living! Ha ha ha! And there is worth in being the test pilot. I'm sure... I'll miss the excitement of what we've once had, but life is a process of change and adjustment. I think I'll manage. We'll all manage. Genji's right. Besides, who says you can't be heroic on your own without a giant robot? Heroism is a relative thing, and it can be done in little ways on a small scale. On a human scale. And even if we never get a chance to prove our heroism again, well what's so bad about being normal? The last words are soft, and almost choked. Stuntman, test pilot, and marine biologist. There's something to be said for those occupations, isn't there? Yes, Mr. Carson, there is. There certainly is. But what about you, Genji? Aren't you in some kind of trouble with the government? Something about the missing plane? Yes, the prototype. I was flying when the followers first summoned me. But now that our careers as agents of lights have come to an end, there is no reason why I cannot simply reveal the truth. There is no longer any secrets to protect. The hearing will be difficult, but if they can be made to believe me, my name will be cleared. We'd be glad to testify on your behalf, Genji. Vouch for, your tru vouch for the truth of your statements. Yeah, once they get me on the witness stand, any glummy babe by... <laughs> and glom my baby blues, they won't dare question your story. No further words then, just a silent walk away from everything. It's a big loss for them, but they're still very young. They'll get over it in time. They may even prefer to return to normal. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder what it'd like to be in their shoes right now. Being a freak like the thing ain't so bad no more. I've gotten used to it. I'd probably even missed it if it was taken away from me. But I gotta admit, in a way, a big way, I really envy them. Next, the FF go on vacation only to confront the chilling menace of the brain parasites. But that's not gonna be next time because that's it. That's the full wrap up of the Shogun Warriors. And it's better. This this does good. I'm 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 okay with this. It's not the greatest ending we could have gotten but it is an ending and you know what i will forever be eternally grateful that marvel was willing to go back and actually do something to finish the story so you know what i'm good with this i am good with this but you know let me know what you guys think but that's it i'm happy my shogun warriors playlist is complete uh on to on to something different now in case you didn't know uh, I'm doing Charlton Comics characters. Uh, for those who don't know Charlton Comics, it's a defunct comic book company. It's very much like Atlas Comics. Uh, it was doing business for a while, but then it got defunct, and then it sort of fell out of favor, uh, went bankrupt, and now I'm reviewing its fucking books on my channel. You know, so uh, stay tuned for that one. But for now, that's it. The Shogun Warriors playlist is done. I loved it, but you guys, you let me know what you think. You let me know in the comments if this was a good ending for the Shogun Warriors, if this was satisfying for you. But for now, that's it for this comic book. If you liked reading this comic with me and you want to read more comics with me, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, nerds, stay heroic.